Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Yakuza 4 Part 20. In the previous video, we did some story stuff, which I think we're almost done with. It's been a, been a little minute since I last recorded this game. Okay, so we're supposed to do this still. Oh yeah, and that lady we found at the bottom of the, uh, the underground area that we're in. I don't remember where she went. Because she kind of told us where she was going. I'm pretty sure. But I I don't remember. And that hint is not helpful in the slightest. And I don't actually know how to get out of here. Because this is, this is where we found the lady, right? If we went like further down. Or something. Help. Oh god, I, I should have taken uh, taken the other turn. I went the wrong way. Now I'm lost. Did, did you? No. Oh no, you can't take this escalator. That escalator's uh, broken. Okay, 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 okay. Look at look at me map. All right, let's go this way. We 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 took a right. We should have taken a damn left. All right, Orchid Palace Mahjong. Now, me being a master of Mahjong and lover of it in all of its forms, I, of course, know where that is. Been many times, hundreds of times. It's like somewhere around here, right? Yeah. I'm sure it won't be a problem getting over there, right? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be just nice and quick and easy for old Saijima to just get all the way across town. Y'all see any cops? Alrighty then. Well, no fun to be had. Let's try this way. Can we? Okay, we can go go out this way. I don't remember where this takes me. If I'm being honest, I've forgotten where all the shortcuts go. And by forgotten, I never really knew in the first place. I basically just kind of wander around into them until hopefully we end up where... This is This is not really where I wanted to be, dog. Oh. Kind of took us further away from where we're supposed to be going. The police... Oh my god. Police stuff is very annoying. Realistically, what it should be is just like a hard encounter. Like, so like you're incentivized to not do them. But the whole you can't avoid them at all, or like you have to take these roundabout ways. Bro, why are there so many of you? Also, like, we're almost dead. Maybe we can get some chicken. It's not a crime for a criminal to eat chicken, right? And we'll hopefully we can cut through the champion district. Asian digital watch. A digital watch made in Asia. Okay, it's very important that it's made in Asia. Come on, they, they wouldn't put a calf here, would they? They wouldn't guard the drunks of society. Presumably, there's got to be a sparkly around here. There's no way there's not a sparkly. Now, I refuse to believe there's nothing in this corner. There's always stuff in this corner. It must just mean I'm blind and I can't see it. Usually I can only spot sparklies when we're in a cutscene and then we get teleported halfway across the map as soon as the cutscene's over so that I cannot claim my sparkly. We should try and hit up a some sort of restaurant. 
like a like a Kyushu number one star. He would never uh, rat me out. This ramen shop only threw different 25 years ago. Welcome. I would like some egg and whatever that is. That didn't really. Okay, that one healed us. That first one didn't really heal us all that much. Alright. Where the fuck am I even going? It's taking so long, I forgot where I'm going. Okay, we can't cut through this way. They didn't make the alleyway go all the way through because they're evil. They don't no cops, no fuck. I just want to not play some damn mahjong. Is that such a crime? Is that what I'm being arrested for? For wanting to play the most glorious game? I don't. How do I get there? Just let me sneak right by you. Sneak right by. Don't fight me. No, I don't want to hang out. Yo, what do you want, shit for brains? I'm here to take out the trash. And get out of here. On the double. Want us to leave? We're gonna need a going away present. It's called brain damage. Shut the fuck up. My fist in your face is all you freeloaders deserve. The way they're just standing there, menacingly. We need to, like, pick one of you guys up and, and throw you. What the hell? How are you gonna bring a damn knife into the equation? We were just having a good old-fashioned street brawl. And then someone gets insecure... And brings a brings a knife. Don't you know somebody could get hurt with that? And then he has the audacity to keep blocking so I can't take him out. You know what? Get thrown. Now your back is broken in three places. Uh, what's your problem, crazy old bastard? All right, is the boss somewhere inside here? You the head honcho around here? Uh. Another no, dim little ain't got the manners of a dog. I'm high, I say. I look after this place. Uh -huh. And we ain't going nowhere. You want us to leave, you're gonna have to force us out. Okay, that's... We, we just forced some people out. I don't know why you guys think you'll do all that much better. So you don't even have any HP, what the hell? Who made you the fucking boss? Turns out the boss, he didn't put any points into Vigor. We can actually just two-shot him. You're so rude. Like honestly, the big boy should be the- Okay, he doesn't actually have that much HP. He's a relatively weak big boy. Get, get grabbed. And then spin him around. Watcha! It doesn't really do, I mean, it knocks him down, but it doesn't really do damage. I'm like an AoE, the way I expected. Okay, so there's just like a lot of them. They just keep spawning. That's why they have such little HP. I mean, I'm just saying, I was mid-grab. I don't think you should have been able to cancel out. You're so lucky. Got the damn twins on the case. You ever go out to buy matching clothes with your gang buddies so that you look fresh? Just 
Just, just, just two dudes trying to have matching outfits. You know how it is. Why well, you have to make me work for? Or why you have to make more work for me? God damn it! You're coming with me. What the hell? That's kidnapping, man. That's illegal. We was just standing here. This man is the ringleader, I presume? Yep. Signed, sealed, and delivered. As promised. Now let's go with our friend here back to the office. Fine, I'll be there. Congratulations on a job well done. A job like that ain't hardly a job at all. Perhaps it's none of my business, but if you and Tadashi are perfect strangers, why go to such links for him? I wouldn't expect you to understand, but I made a promise to Tadashi. Man to man. That's reason enough for me. Is that so? No, can't say I do understand. I mean, you kidnapped a child. <laughs> I don't really expect you to understand human decency. Alright, fine. I'll see if any further talk on the subject be a waste of my time and yours. Don't forget what you promised the kid. I wouldn't dream of it. And next time, find me a better paying gig. I'll certainly do my best. By the way, our mutual friend Hayase had this on him. You may have it. A nice little bonus, yes? Gee, thanks. I already got one of these. To your next assignment, then. Got an achievement for doing subby stories for the most submissive story boy out there. Hello, I would like to sell all my stuff. I'm here to sell. I don't. But should I sell this? I don't know. The gold plate, it's only. Oh, gold plate and gold plated are different. I suppose that makes sense. I don't know if I need this. Honestly, I'm gonna sell it. Since we have a backup, and honestly, I never did crash it anyway. The only weapon I need are these fists of mine. Popularity bracelet. I need to be unpopular with everyone to the point that no one ever wants to even approach us because we're so disgusting. People will be like, oh. We should mug that guy. Oh, wait. He stinks. We don't want to be anywhere near him. Does the carving do anything? Did it teach us how to blast somebody with sun? All right. Don't know where Lady said she was. Guess we're gonna try and head back. It's harder to navigate the damn streets than it is to actually fight the enemies. So this can take us here, which isn't really that far. I guess we'll try it. DMM.com. I'm always saying that, man. What do you think it stands for? Could be anything. As long as it has a D and M and an M in it. Nope. I'm just, oh god, they fucking put the cops here, man. But, but like, what if we didn't have cops? Like, hamarocho has been fine for 25 years without a single cop in the game. You know, okay, yeah, maybe the largest monument blew up every once in a while. But, like, you know, that's a small price to pay 
for being able to walk around town and get accosted by a billion guys. Plus, they're not even stopping that. We're still getting accosted by a billion guys. Yeah, the, the whole police thing definitely should have just been like... Like, the very first time when you have to get back to your hideout after leaving the arena? That's fine. That's kind of neat. It adds some flavor. Continuing to make you take roundabout ways to just base, like, do basic navigation is really annoying. Hello? My, my sub story? Figured it would proc here. We have to try and leave. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It was like right here at the entrance, right? I can't see the upper level. It said it was like right around here. See, they don't even want me taking the front entrance or like the back entrance. I gotta take the front entrance to proc the damn cutscene. Greetings, Suzuki-san. You sure it's alright me not in public? Figure you must have a shady past your own to worry about. <laughs> I'm just trying to be considerate. I assume you'd prefer not to dis discuss the more dangerous jobs in front of Tadashi-kun. The kind of danger we talking about. We'd like you to take care of a certain individual for us. No killing. Find someone else. Don't worry. We wouldn't ask you to go that far. We just want you to work him over so thoroughly he'll never show his face in this town again. Though killing him certainly isn't all the table. The target is a man by the name of Yoshinori Murayama. Yoshinori Murayama? Do you know him? I, I don't recognize his name. I believe he was the lieutenant of a Yakuza family once upon a time. Now, however, he wanders the streets homeless and alone. How far the mighty can fall. Still, they say fighting is like riding a bicycle. Even now, he's far too dangerous for our own angels to handle. And I'd be the short straw, huh? It's good to see you're so quick on the uptake. What do you ever do to you? Nothing you need to know about. You need only focus on your work. For Tadashi-kun's sake. For reference, we received a tip that Motoyama is camping out near the north end of the hotel district. Bro, that's so far away. I look forward to hearing some good news. Fuck you. There's not that many cops in the hotel district. It was the Sasai family. Pardon? The Sasai family, Tojo clan. That's where Motoyama's from. Is that so? Interesting, you should know that. You learn something new every day. Farewell. God damn it. Never thought I'd see Motoyama on a key again. Least of all like this. But I got a job to do. For Tadashi's sake. North end of the hotel district, huh? Yeah, the way he's just being all homeless. He's such, ah! he's such a threat. They just put the cop right next to us, man. Okay, wait. Oh, we're actually not that far away. I was thinking this entrance was a bit more to the right. North end of the hotel district. Any of y'all homeless? What about you? You look kind of homeless. You also some trash. Motoyama Aniki ought to be around here somewhere. Look at that delicious trash mocking me. It's like Jima. Motoyama Aniki, that you? What is this? Why are you here? Boy. To beat the shit out of you? What the hell were you thinking? Why'd you shoot up Bueno's family? Where'd the side sign go? Calm down. How do you expect me to do that? I lost everything thanks to you. My family was dissolved, the side sign vanished, and the Shibata family got promoted. Almost the whole thing was a setup. <laughs> Who lit the fuse on that bomb? You, Saijima. It's your fault my whole life went down. I mean, he was ordered to do it. I mean, that doesn't excuse his, you know, 
crimes morally speaking, but you can't really be mad at him in that sense. You gotta be mad at the boss. 25 years in hell, it's time to drag you down with me. Well, at least that makes the whole beating them up feel a little less awkward. Would you stop attacking me? Stop, sir. Get up. Now, I was trying to tackle you. I was trying to hit you with a little tackle attack. Would you stop? Direct. Direct. I mean, I can't really do anything because he, he attacks faster than me. And like when he's mid animation, I can't interrupt him. But when I'm mid animation, he can interrupt me. Make it make sense. I lost everything 25 years ago myself. I'm not asking you to believe me. That's why I came back. To find out the truth. Also, because prison kind of sucked. What really happened back then and why? You're trying to piece that together. But I can tell you this much. Saison is alive. Really? After all this time? He's changed a lot and not for the better. But he's still our boss. Well... So he's alive. Maybe that's enough. What are you gonna do next? I'm gonna leave. Somehow I feel like I can finally shut the door to the demons that have haunted me all these years. Yeah. Also, I think I have brain damage, so I better, you know, go find a nice hole to die in. I'm sorry, truth is you're only a kid in way over your head just like I was. Nah, don't worry about it. Just take care of yourself. But tell me something, Saijima. Yeah? Yamurocho has been my prison for half my life. I've been too scared to set foot outside the city. Lost my boss, my rank in the Tojo, but I didn't have the courage to skip town to live my own life. I mean, you sound kind of like a loser, no offense. I mean, so, offense someone intended. But you broke out of that prison, didn't you? What did it feel like, breathing free for the first time in a quarter century? I think I still ain't used to it. I'm like a ghost paying a visit from the past. Still, it's not all bad. Chicken's pretty good. No? I made some new friends. Might be on the run, but I ain't lonely no more. And that's good enough. People would make people happy. You're not in this alone, Aniki. Things get rough out there, don't lose it. Just come back to Camarocho. Back to your family. I'll remember that. Thanks, Saijima. I don't know, man. Dude's been homeless for 25 years and gets his ass beaten. He's like, alright, I guess now I can leave. Moto Yamaniki had it rough, too. Well, got things to do. First, better tell Tadakura how the gig went. Alright, so back to the hideout. Fortunately, my HP's fucked. What is this? That's oh, the batting cage and the dragon palace and the hot springs. That's new. You know what? I guess we should check. We should always check out new recreation at least once. Ah! <laughs> Motherfuckers. Okay, fine. No hot springs then. 
The cop said, no, you can't see Saejima bathe. Pub XXX. That's my favorite kind of pub. But, like, don't fight me or anything. My HP is a little, little... Do we even have any heals? We have a few heals, at least. How'd it go, Suzuki-san? Odiyama skipped town. He ain't coming back. Yes, one of our agents confirmed it. Bro, it's been four seconds. I know we could count on you. Don't forget my pay. Oh. I wouldn't dream of it. Shall I apply to the repayment of Tadashi-kun's debts? Yep. Oh, and just out of curiosity, Suzuki-san, you happen to have some history with this Motoyama? <laughs> oh, if looks could kill. All right, if you don't want to answer, so be it. Goodbye now. <laughs> Who's there? Pardon the intrusion. What do you want? More work, of course. What now? Let's discuss this somewhere more private, shall we? What? It's pretty private. It does get more private than my own hideout. Hi, I'm back. So if you're in here, and we're all in here, who's taking the damn shower? Hey, Tadashi. Uh -huh. You. Well, hello there, Tadashi-kun. You look well. I still have your sister, kidnapped. I'm a piece of shit. You want another job, big guy? Yep, looks that way. I'm holding down the fort while I'm out. Yeah. Actually, I'd like Tadashi-kun to come along this time. That's not a good reason. Maybe we just work out well in a number of ways. But if you'd rather not, we can always call this assignment off. What do you think? I don't mind. Such a good boy. Where are we headed? To the underground Coliseum of Purgatory. You familiar with the place? More or less. Good then. Your next job will take place there. I'm certain you have preparations to make, so that I should couldn't and I will head out there and meet you there. I'm gonna leave you alone with Tadashi for a second. Kid sticks with me. Try to appreciate your position here, Suzuki-san. Regardless of the circumstances, I am your client. You work for me. I do believe it's in your best interest to do as I say. Why don't we just push this guy's face through the glass desk? Don't worry, big guy. I'll be fine. Alright, just let me tell you one thing. And what might that be? You harm so much as a single hair on this kid's head, it won't end well for you. Tadashi-kun is an esteemed customer of mine. I'll treat him with the utmost care. If that's all, then, we'll be waiting for you in purgatory. Meet us by the front desk of the arena. Underground Coliseum in purgatory, huh? Sounds like I might have to fight there again. Alright, now... How the how TF do I get to the underground arena, man? I got no clue, man. I think we get there via the children's park, which is kind of far away. Got any sweet abilities? Grabbing an enemy when health is flashing. Alright, we do need to eat before we head there. Thankfully, there is no sort of food establishment nearby. We can try and go to this restaurant. 
I don't know if we can get there if there's fucking caps and there's a goddamn cap in the way. There's another guy. Ah! Hey. We can just sneak right by you. And we can hot spring it after all. Yeah, yeah, hot spring me. Does that heal us? It should. That table tennis. Bath and table tennis. Look at the bath. <laughs> what the hell kind of combo is that? Who? It wasn't exactly the massive heal I was looking for. Water feels great. It's nice to be out in the world again. Hello, would you like to play me in table tennis? What the? Uh, yeah, yeah let's give it a try. Okay, this is new. Device. Smash, only in heat mode. Serve, okay. All right. This might be a pain because of controller drift, but we'll see. If it's analog based, uh, whoa, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? What the hell? You were so slow. Okay. Oh God, you did it so early. <laughs> I just hit the ball like immediately. Bro, what the hell? He's so slow. Because the ball kind of flashes. Okay, that helps a lot. What? What the hell? What was that serve? Impossible. She's in Sino mode. Okay, I hit that so early. What is this? All this for one, not even one point? Should that not give us a point? Because we didn't hit the table? You gotta hit the ball. You gotta hit like a hundred rallies to get one free. What the hell? Could you, could you stop hitting it like an idiot, Saijima? Now, I, I get that you're a little rusty on the old table tennis, but like, bro. I don't understand. Why is he doing it like that? It's like if she does a certain serve, if you hit the ball, it's just, it's over. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting like the timing, right? It's just like an auto fail because he hits it too high. Bro. Bro, let me out of this shit. It's awful. Like, what am I missing? We could, we could stare. <laughs> I don't know if that really helps this much. Because, like, does I mean holding the directional? I mean, the directional stick doesn't really seem to do anything. But like, it's impossible to actually get any points. I mean, even when we got like a 20 rally, it still wasn't like giving me anything. Let me out!
Like, that's the only way to win? That shit is impossible. And then sometimes you just... No, don't hit that with those. That, that's one of the ones that'll fuck you up. Let me, bro, it's still going? Okay, seriously, let me out of this. No, like, let me quit. I can't quit out? There we go. All right, that shit sucks. I don't, know, I, must have, I don't know if I was missing something or if it's just actually impossible. Because, I mean, you just infinitely rally until he randomly decides to miss. Alright, give me to the children's park. We're gonna give up on food because it's impossible to navigate the fucking town. Ay, ay, ay. And this guy's gonna fight me. That dude's also gonna try and fight me, but thankfully we snuck right by no, damn the police what the what police there's no police they don't okay there is a police but like what if there wasn't man what if there was a world with no cops at the very least saijima shouldn't have to deal with random thugs because there's so many cops on the street that would at least be a fair, like a somewhat, it wouldn't be a fair trade-off, but it would at least be a trade-off. If it was like, yeah, walking around town inside Juma is annoying as hell, but at least you don't got random battles. You guys sell any food in here? Give me a... Uh... me a sushi set. Goodbye. Getting incredible. Goodbye. Man walks in, buys sushi set, eats it right in front of the cashier, walks out with that explanation. Bro, how the hell do I get over there? <laughs> I just want to get to the damn arena. See, this is my face when I'm walking down the fucking street and then there's a cop in the middle of the way and I gotta take a random ass detour. Like, this guy should at least be deleted from the game, you know? If you're gonna have so many cops on the street. Maybe it's a complex criticism of how the cops don't actually fucking do anything. Does this even take me to the arena? I'm pretty sure this takes you to the arena, maybe. Right? I don't really from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything on the other side, like towards the entrance? Wow, you see the exhibition match they just held? That was the best fight ever. Who was that new guy anyway? Sasajima or something? Man, he's a real deal. Say, aren't you? You wouldn't happen to be? 
You're gonna pester everyone about the arena? I'm gonna sign you up for a cage match. Pardon him. He just can't seem to hold his liquor. What about you? You got anything to say, sir? You just... You just sitting there? That's what I do. I come to the extremely, uh... Exclusive luxury place to just sit, freak people out. Hey, you got some got I got some good stuff over here. You interested? Oh, and thanks. Smells so bad, it might save your ass in a fight. Just leave it behind when you go to the club. Can its horrible stench make people leave me alone? Can I equip my tiger skin belt? Uh, there's some sort of commotion over by the arena. What did I miss? Didn't you hear the floor? She's hosting an exhibition match for a new contender in the reign and champ. Oh, so that's why the casino emptied out. It was a battle of the century. The challenger won, struck a victory pose, and gave an epic speech. Something about how like murder's bad or something. It sounded like a pussy to me. I've never seen anything like it in all my life. Sure wish I could have been there. You should have come to get me. I'm afraid this little lapse will reflect negatively your annual assessment. Ah. Save the game. Use the item box. Hello. I do not need a bust amulet or magnetized metal or ancient steel. A small motor. How about you motor your way out of my inventory? Still don't know if the cat key is important. It might be the secret to unlocking the greatest feline treasure of them all. Don't, don't mind me, I guess I should save again. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and do this fight and then try and call it. Here I am, what do you want me to do? I want you to take part in a special match tournament, Suzuki Sai, and I want you to win. Special what? Unlike regular tourneys, a special match tournament allows the use of weapons. However, you will only be competing and winning, mind you, without using any weapons whatsoever. So I'm only got going in with a handicap. That ain't like all the other gigs, is it? Is this even a job at all? I'm trying to get you killed. I have my reasons for giving you this assignment. Feel free to refuse at any time. Who's refusing? I think absolutely certain you use no weapons. Sadashi Kun and I will be watching your every move. I have to drag the kid into this. What, just a watch? Kind of pointless. Not quite. Oh, uh, yeah? Let's just say it's educational. What are you talking about? I want the boy to see his oh so gallant benefactor putting his life on the line to pay off his debts. It's called emotional torture. What's the use in showing him that? I'm evil! Yeah. Once you understand, this tournament is no walk in the park. It's unlike you'll make it out unscathed. In fact, I'd wager you'd be lucky to only lose a limb or two. That's nothing that a little Red Bull can't fix. And what can happen when you burden a trusted friend with your own financial obligations? Maybe a child, but I believe that Ashikun has a responsibility to see that answer to that question. It's sick. Something the kid ain't meant to see. Consider my own personal philosophy. Kidnap children. Uh, torture them. Uh, I forget number three, but it's something dastardly. Don't get me wrong, it's like nothing better for you. I'd like nothing better for you to win, of course. But if I didn't fight well, you wouldn't want to check out right in front of the boy now, would you? Yippa! Don't worry about me, big guy. What's my payment this time around? Hmm, let's see. Complete this job and I'll consider the debts repaid. I win the thing you let Tadashi's sister go. Oh. Yes, that's right. Do your best out there. Big guy. Hear that, Tadashi? Once I'm done here, your sister's free. And then we beat this guy to death? With like a bag of hammers? So Juma's allowed to murder people. But he should be allowed to kill this guy. It'd be like his first good action. Weapon Master Grand Prix!
Okay, in hindsight, maybe we shouldn't just enlisted the sous chef. Oh. All right, rude. All right, rude. Rude. Sir, I stunned you. I showed you my powerful attack. Please get stunned. Sir? Okay, we didn't get stunned. Hit him so hard his mask started bleeding. Who's got a fucking gun? What the hell? Get this. Oh, God. So they still haven't learned their lesson that the gun guys are always so fucking annoying and not fun in the slightest. Okay, at least he's kind of going down somewhat easily. Well. I don't know, any, anytime you give the enemy a ranged attack that auto stuns you is a... Uh... Oh, that was it? Uh, one. It was like I said, I was. Okay, never mind. That wasn't nearly... I thought it was going to be like many more rounds since they were all so easy. Hey, where's Tadakura? Where's Tadashi? Oh. Oh, don't be concerned. They've already departed. I completed the job. Tadashi gets to see his sister. That was the deal. But where's the boy? If you'll just ask you where Tadashi's at, get Tadakura back here. I see you won't listen to reason. Ex fucking excuse me? <laughs> Such a pity. The boss didn't want me to hurt you. I suppose this was bound to happen. Oh yeah, in hindsight, I guess I should have seen this through considering you fought thousands of threats that we were too scared to face. Where's Tadashi and where the fuck's Tadakura up to? You were much too dangerous. What are you getting at? Boss wanted a puppet, someone he could string along. But you're too wild, too powerful to be used like that. A puppet who breaks his strings can't be controlled. Excuse me? You know, Pinocchio? You ever heard of it? No? Now that uh, you know the puppet master is, he can't just exit stage left. It'd be easy for him to just dispose of you. <laughs> I tried to get you killed under the pretext of doing one last job for him. What bullshit. That was like something the asshole would come up with. Fortunately, we didn't know you were immune to bullets by drinking copious amounts of Red Bull. You see a man with a kid around here? Yes, I saw a man and a child headed further than that way. Don't think about a damn kid. You know, I did. They didn't look like father and son. Wow, they friends of yours? That freaking brat got my new suit dirty. Hush, it's your fault for dragging us down to the sewer so you can gamble. Besides, I bought you that suit. Right, sorry. They went to that manhole there. Treat him like the boy wanted to, though. You didn't think they'd do anything to stop him? Hey, florist. There's some shady shit going on in your establishment. Shouldn't you, like, mobilize the homeless army? Don't you see everything that happens in this town? Peaceful, in my lane, moisturized, no cares. Oh yeah, I should have saved the end of the video. Tadakura, where do you think you're going? Big guy! Damn it all. I barely slowed you down. What's your deal, anyhow? Ah, whatever do you mean? Don't you play dumb with me. I promised me to let, Ta to let Tadashi's sister go free. Well, I lied. I'm evil. Did you not pick up on that? When I kidnapped a child and then forced the other small child to pay off a debt that they had nothing to do with? The hired killer who slaughtered 18 Yakuza in cold blood is a soft spot for a little orphan boy. You're stronger than that boy. I got room on my list for 19. Yeah. 
I kept my end of the bargain. Time for you to keep yours. You don't get it, do you? I'll kill him. I mean it. Thankfully, there's not cops swarming <laughs> the place. Eh, don't give me that crap. A promise is a promise. Promise, promise, promise. You sound like a broken record. Fine, I'll tell you. This little wretch is precious big sister. I pawned her off to the Yakuza for three million yen. Sold Akihiko to the Yakuza? Three million? Thought she's old man was in for five. I don't sound right for a greedy money grubber like you. That was paid off ages ago with the insurance money that came when the brat's parents died. You piece of shit. Yes, I kidnapped children. Obviously I'm a piece of shit. Why is this a surprise to you? Maybe I am a piece of shit, but I'm a rich piece of shit. Guess what? His father was only indebted to me in the first place because I conned him into it. Winners make money and losers go broke. As long as I get mine, the rest of the world can burn. But cheating people out of their money makes you a winner? Yes. I'm rich, didn't you hear? You even hear the words come out of your mouth? Huh? Quiet. It's that imbecile's fault for letting himself get duped. And you, you were supposed to get yourself killed off in that damn tournament. Now my plans are all fucked. Stop. You ruined my family. Then we rip his dick off? Ow, you little shit. Good job. But he... You ain't going no. I mean, if anybody deserves to die in this, like, I think Saijima should definitely kill this guy. I'd respect it. I mean, I guess, like, you know, if it's like we have the whole queue, you can't kill people. So I get that he can't kill people, but Saijima's kill people, so he should be able to. Fuck you. <laughs> Absolutely brain the wrong fucking guy. Oh shit. I feel like my button presses were super late there. I'm surprised they counted. Get beamed. <laughs> I love how you just hit random guys. Yeah, what he said. What do you want from me anyway? I know. Is it money? I'll give you as much as you want. Just please. Got a core, you're way, way beyond any hope of redemption. Spare me a lecture. What if it's a measly five million yen? His father's fault that he got taken. He didn't want to get cheated. He shouldn't have borrowed money. Go trying to cover your ass. A cheater's a cheater. Don't take big words and fancy suits to see that. Fine. If you want to whine and cry like a spoiled brat, I'll bend you over and spank you like one. I think he deserves more than a spanking. I suppose I'll simply have to kill you myself. I'll still be rich and powerful and you'll be dead. I guess in hindsight, trying to fight the guy that you were afraid of was not a smart plan. It's out of core. Who'd you sell Tadashi's sister to? The Takasu family. Tell me. Where is this family's office? The theater alley? Akiko, I can't believe he sold her to the Yakuza. Maybe the Yakuza aren't good people, though, if they're buying child slaves. <laughs> or buying slaves in general. Put Wimper in a man up. The controller was disconnected? The hell it wasn't. Oh, my battery may be running low. But she's gone. Wrong. We know exactly where your sister is. And all we gotta do is pick her up. But head on back to my hideout for now. We gotta talk about where to go from here. I do like this substory chain, though. That's, that's definitely, I mean, I've said this, like, several times now, but... I really do like the having more extended sub stories like this. How do I save the video game? It's impossible. Nobody knows how to do it. Okay, I'm just gonna 
calmly walk over here. There won't be any police. Oh yeah, we already know there's cops. Because we already went through this whole shindig. Because you gotta go through Champion Edition. You gotta cut across. And there's another damn cop. And you gotta walk past them. You gotta walk... Bunch of damn nonsense. Dude's made of steel fucking iron. Don't mind me, Mr. President. What's going on in Camarocho Hills? Okay, I just want to, I just want to save the game, man. Is that such a crime? Here, here's my hot take. If you're gonna make it a fucking pain in the ass to walk around town, you could at least let me save the game. Uh. Round and round they go. Where they stop? Nobody knows. Okay, see ya. Alrighty. So we'll save the game. Next time we'll try and finish off the Tadakura stuff. The Tadashi stuff. And then probably do the main... I mean, there's that other lady sub-story. I might have to go back and watch the last video to see where she said she was going. Because I think she said, but I don't remember. And the sub-story thing doesn't really tell me. So yeah, I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.